She's hardworking and energetic, so I never see her when she's not moving. She's hardworking for her students, and I see everything that she does for us, and especially for me. Integrity, devotion, commitment, patience. She show all the support to her students, to the class, to the students, to the school, and to the partners. She's extremely approachable and a fun person to work with. She's one of those people who devotes herself wholeheartedly to whatever the project is. Professor Sal's service learning instruction has benefited me by giving me certain experiences that I wouldn't have had otherwise. The most rewarding part is I feel like the empowerment that students get and the confidence they get through the service learning. She had brought the Su Chi organization in to give a presentation and right from there I kind of just fell in love with the organization. They have a great sense of heart to give back to the community. Our involvement, support to community, we make our community better. So we are so proud and we are so happy we'll be able to have this chance to involve with your community engagement. They really genuinely care about other people in the community. Working with Suji, that's about cross-cultural co uh, linguistic barriers that they will experience and I want them to problem solve, <laughs> to learn the skills, to feel comfortable when they come to the point to serve the diverse populations. As a speech pathologist, we're going to be working in schools or hospitals or private practices. And through the Tsuchi organization, they provide those settings for us. They provide the school. They provide uh, a medical atmosphere. That is why she is so careful to select the right site which will provide the best to her students. Also, the site will be benefit too. It's mutual. Service learning has basically rediscovery of warmth for people and a genuine care for people. It's important for them to experience the hands-on experience and observe what's really in the, you know, in the community. The empathy, also the take things for granted as you know, they were able to communicate without any barriers okay. and uh, to also you know, feel more compassionate toward the client population they will be serving. I go back to her hard work for her students if someone comes to her with a concern or doesn't understand something, she'll make the necessary adjustments for her students so that they are able to move forward.